OK, so I'm just going to show you a crafty little trick within Photo that's sort of hidden, and it predominantly works with blur and sharpen filters. So for example, I'll go in and select Unsharp Mask. And on the dialog here, you'll notice if I try and max out the radius slider, it goes to a limit of 100 pixels. However, if you hover over the image canvas, you'll notice the cursor changes. And you can click drag on the canvas to influence the radius slider. So then, you'll notice if I start to click drag, we can go way past the 100 pixel barrier, all the way up to 1024 pixels. And if we were to increase the factor in conjunction with this, we'd start to get some not very tasteful results. But it does have a practical use if you're using it with smaller factor values. Using a large radius basically results in the increase of local contrast, effectively known as clarity. So if for some reason you need a value greater than 100 pixels, you can increase it to add more local contrast to your image, which basically, from a visual standpoint, results in punchier separation between all your tones. So this approach actually makes more sense as a live filter layer. Let's add a live unsharp mask filter. And we'll do this trick again. We'll add a radius of about 500 pixels and increase the factor until it starts to look like this. So at this point then, we'll go in and set the blend mode to lighten. And then of course we'll want to tweak the settings somewhat for a slightly more tasteful result. But it's just a neat little trick if you feel that the value the slider tops out at is restricting you somewhat. Do bear in mind that the larger the kernel or the radius value you use, the slower performance will be with live filter layers. Not such an issue if you're using a destructive filter from the filters menu, but then if you're doing that, you can't really blend as effectively using blend modes and opacity. Now, of course, I've also mentioned that you can do this with the blur filters with varying results. For example, we could go in to Gaussian Blur, and you'll see we top out again at 100 pixels. But of course, I can click drag to increase the value exponentially. Not much use, perhaps, for a basic landscape image, but it does produce a rather nice average gradient tone. So it's worth experimenting with this little trick and seeing if you can generate some creative ideas out of it. So that's all. Like I said, this predominantly works with blur and sharpen filters. Some of the other filters actually use this on-canvas dragging to influence other more useful areas of the filter's effect, like the pinch punch, for example. So that also might be worth bearing in mind if you weren't aware that certain filters, particularly the distortions, actually allow you to change the area of the image that's affected just by clicking and dragging on the canvas. OK, and if you have any questions or queries, please do go and ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.